Hey guys, how you doing today? This is William over at Junior Lion Williams Adventures. We're trying out a new app today, guys. We're going to make our video. We got a subject we want to talk about. And what we wanted to talk about for a little while is enjoying your life to the fullest. That's what we want to talk about here at Junior Lion Williams Adventures, guys. Remember, subscribe and like the video, guys. We certainly appreciate that. And remember, we have our links in our description. If you want to buy us a cup of coffee, we appreciate that. Also, if you're looking for an LDR in our link, we have Christian Filipina. If you're traveling to the Philippines on vacation or you're transitioning, remember, we all have Safety Wing, and that's for travel insurance. Check it out in the links, guys. We'll appreciate that. And of course, we appreciate all our channel members and those that are looking to join our channel. It's also in the description, guys. So let's talk about it for a little while. Enjoying our life to the fullest. That's what we wanted to talk about just for a little while. Because, you know, one of the things that I'm asking, it's usually by uh, those that are I call in the fourth quarter of their life. And in the fourth quarter of our lives, and I'm talking about from 55 up, guys. Most times, maybe retirement age. But for all intent and purposes, let's talk about at least 55 and up. If you're younger, you can listen in too, because it certainly applies to you. Um, you know, a lot of times, by the time we're 55 and up, we went through a lot of difficult times in life. We went through the good, the bad, and like the Clint Eastwood movie said, the ugly. We have been through a lot of things. We survived a lot of things. We had a lot of, of, of victories in life. We also had a lot of uh, defeats in life and, and times that weren't so good. We lost loved ones. Uh, maybe some had been widowed. Some had been divorced. But what we want to talk about today, and, and this is Junie Lyon Williams Adventures, and we're coming from the Philippines in Lapu Lapu City, is that how do you still learn to enjoy your life to the fullest, even when you're in your fourth quarter, so to speak, which is means we have more time behind us than we got in front of us, guys, right? So in my case, I was told about the Philippines by some workers, some co-workers that were Filipino psychiatrists. I listened to them. I decided to do some research, guys, about the Philippines. I was looking for a place to go on vacation that was out of the norm. And I decided, this was in 2019, that I would go and visit the Philippines on my vacation. Took an extended vacation for three weeks. About 17 to 19 days I took. Had a lot of vacation coming because I was a workaholic, like a lot of you are. And remember, guys, it's not so much a lot of times how hard we work, but do you take time for yourself? Especially those of us that had either been widowed, you went through an ugly divorce. You're in an empty nest. Maybe you're in your house now and it's an empty nest. So the, the thing is, guys, what are you going to do at this portion of your life, which I call the fourth quarter, to really enjoy your life to the fullest? In my case, I decided to take that vacation to the Philippines, which in, in turn, I got to experience some things I never experienced before. Beaches that were so beautiful. I had they were on people's bucket list, places like Boracay, Alona Beach in Bahol, uh, Batanyan Beach in Cebu. Um, the most expensive thing that I paid for was the plane ticket, which at that time was about $1,200 round trip from JFK in New York to Manila. And then another flight, which was only about $50 US to Cebu. Um, Manila being like New York, Cebu being sort of like, if you want to equate it to Florida, where all the beaches are at, the beautiful scenery. It's, it's fun to, to go around the city of Manila or Cebu City for a little while, but eventually you're, wanna, you're going to want, if you come to the Philippines, to get to the beautiful beaches, guys. So what do you do to enjoy your life to the fullest? Sometimes you have to think outside the box, guys. You have to think about doing something that everybody else is not doing. And that's what I thought about. I th said, let me go. I found a, a co-worker that was looking for some adventure to 
sort of like Indiana Jones or Fortune and Glory. Let's go take an adventure. So we we went to the Philippines. We got to explore the Philippines back then in 2019. This was pre-pandemic. Of course, everybody that knows anything about the Philippines knows that a lot of guys, their first taste of the Philippines is getting involved in a long distance relationship, what we call LDR. Um, they're looking for an Asian a woman. They have Most of them have old fashioned morals and these kind of things. They're very beautiful women. They win a lot of beauty pageants, guys. And so they get online and they go to the dating apps. And once again, if you're looking for a dating app, we represent, we, we, re we recommend Christian Filipina. It's in our description, guys. Um, you can easily sign up for free and look on there, guys, if you're looking for uh, a LDR, a long distance relationship. That's the one that we recommend. It's the only one we recommend because Junie Lai and I met on that one, uh, guys. And the story down the road, four or five years, we end up getting married, which we're married to this day. But we met initially on Christian Filipina. So check it out, guys, in our description. So that's what we wanted to talk about, guys. How do you enjoy your life to the fullest? If you're still doing all the things that you need to do, you have a great family in the U.S. or the West. You're doing good with your job. You're still working. Then your life is good. But I'm talking to some of the guys that you want to think outside the box. You want to explore some things maybe that you've never done. Maybe you've already been talking to a Filipino online and you're trying to make the first trip to the Philippines. These are the of the people that our channel likes to reach. We like to reach people that are transitioning, whether they're coming to live here, thinking about retirement in a few months or a few years. And they would like to know the pitfalls, the good, the bad, and the ugly before they go. And that's what we try to do here at Juni Lai and Williams Adventures. We probably try to tell people what they're going to need, what they're going to do, our opinion, what worked for us, what didn't work for us. And we believe that if you can tell people and educate people about what there is to do in planning, guys, remember, failing to plan is planning to fail. So we hope you like our new app. We started on StreamYard and see how you guys like this, guys. And we'll be doing our lives on here. We'll be posting another live, which would be Monday morning here. A Sunday evening there, but we'll be posting that, guys, and you will see it. Once again, we want to give a shout out to all our subscribers, uh, Benjamin, um, Parasite. We welcome you guys, uh, David, who we call Jake, all the guys that have joined our channel. If I'm forgetting anybody, uh, forgive me, but we appreciate you. And always be looking in our channel membership community, guys, because we always are posting something new for our members. Remember, we have something new now, which is buy us a cup of coffee, which can help support our channel. Guys, we have it on our web page on Meta, uh, where you can go on there, or you can look in our description at the coffee sign and go ahead and buy us a cup of coffee, guys. Junie Lee and I will appreciate that. We want to start doing some give outs in the community, because even though we live in an upper middle class gated uh, subdivision here, outside of here, there's still a lot of poverty, guys. And we like to give back to the community that has been so friendly and kind to us as foreigners. So, guys, that's what we want to talk about just for a few minutes. And that you can still live your best life now, guys, because you're in the so-called fourth quarter of your life, 50 and up. More life that we live behind us in, in, instead of in front of us. We can still have quality life in this quarter. Anybody that watches sports knows that you can go into the fourth quarter of any, any game, be it basketball or football or what have you, and you could be losing. But if you come up with your top uh, game in the fourth quarter, you can win. You can win, guys. You can absolutely win. And that's what we want here at Junie Lion Williams. We adventures, we want people to win in this portion of our lives, right, guys? So what do you do? Don't be afraid to step out there and take a trip if you're planning to go somewhere. Look at the Philippines. Do your research. But if you have any questions, feel free to look at our different levels of membership. 
in, in our description, we have a join button. If you push that join button, it doesn't automatically join you guys. It tells you the levels, which we have Silver Surfer, a gold membership, and there's perks at each level, guys. And we have Junie Lyon Williams team members, which gives you all the above. And a live link to Meta and Messenger that if you have any questions about transitioning, any questions about vacationing, the do's and don'ts, things that you'd like to know, but you'd like to know firsthand from somebody that's been through it, feel free to join at any one of them levels. And they're all inexpensive, guys. So once again, we wanted to make this video to let you know that you can still live your life. You can still live your life to the fullest in the so-called fourth quarter. Don't sit home, guys, in an empty nest without exploring other opportunities to enjoy this portion of your life. You earned it. You worked hard all your life. And now it's time for you. That's what we think here at Juni Lai and Williams Adventures. Remember, guys, the Philippines has a lot of beautiful places to explore. It has a lot of culture to explore. Needless to say, some of the most beautiful women in the world that don't mind dating gentlemen that are older than them. And for our women and female watchers, there's also Filipina men here that are looking for single foreign women, which are coming here to the Philippines also. So this is not just for uh, the guys. It's for you two ladies. So guys, that's what we wanted to talk about for a few minutes. Remember, subscribe to our channel. Give us a like because that certainly helps us, guys. Give us that thumbs up. It helps us push the uh, YouTube out in, in their algorithms. And guys, we appreciate you. Look at the links in our description, guys. If something's there that can benefit you, as I said, we have travel insurance that we actually used ourselves. We don't recommend anything we haven't used ourselves. I use travel uh, safety wing travel insurance. It's inexpensive. If you click it on the link, it'll tell, take you through the prices and everything you need to know. Also, Christian Filipina, that's what Juni Lee and I meant. Feel free to look in the description and check it out. It's free sign up, guys, for you to check it out. And guys, once again, enjoy your life in the fourth quarter. Don't sit back and fade away and not enjoy your life. Explore different avenues. And next, next time, we'll talk about something else. But until then, this is William here at Junie Lyon Williams Adventures saying, enjoy today because tomorrow is not promised. And we'll see you next time at Junie Lyon Williams Adventures. Live your life to the fullest, guys. And we'll see you next time.